Hey guys, so this is my mini lecture on Leonardo da Vinci's mechanical line by me, Antoine Rochon. So let's get started. On the bottom left, we have a sketch of Leonardo da Vinci himself. On the bottom right, we have a sketch of the lion that was found in his notes or his pages. On the top, we have a reconstruction of his lion and what we thought it could have looked like since we're not too sure. Table of contents. So this mini lecture will consist of a summary of the reasons that led me to choosing this topic, a general overview about da Vinci's mechanical lion, where the lion is today, and a bibliography. Reasons why I chose the mechanical lion as my topic. I thought that the mechanical lion was probably one of the most interesting topics that we were given. So that was definitely a big factor in my decision of choosing this topic. I, I just thought it was also really cool the fact that he created this lion, you know, in a time that was so deprived, the fact that it had so many moving parts and so many mechanisms to make it move without a power source. I just thought that was pretty cool. As you can see here, there's a little image of that. Okay, so where or when did he create this line in his life? So he was 63 when he created this line. So that was in 1515. Right here, as you can see, that's a little painting of Leonardo da Vinci. He was born in 1452 and he died in 1519. So he was 69 when he died. He was 63 when he created the line. So that was four years apart. So when he created this line, he was in uh, the last years of his life. So why was the mechanical line created? So the, me the mechanical line was designed in the early 1500s. To be more specific, 1515, like I said in the previous slide, previous slide, it made its first appearance at a banquet in France for the king, for King Francois I. It was commissioned by Pope Leo X for King Francois I for his amusement and his honor. Um, da Vinci was invited later, I think in 1516, to, to do more works in France for the king. So right here, this is Pope Leo X. This is King Francois I. Oh yeah, and uh, when he went back to France to work for the king, there were more appearances of the lion there. So what did the line consist of? So we're pretty sure that the line was most likely composed of two materials, wood and metal. There were many, many mechanisms that were in the line, such as pulleys, gears, probably cams, levers, all these things. And there were most likely also like gear transmissions or spring transmissions. All these things can help move the line by itself without any power source. Sadly, like I said, the lion did not survive time. So that was 500 years ago when he created this. It was, it was really hard to, uh, to keep the lion intact, so we lost the lion. So we're not too sure what he used, but we're pretty sure they used these types of mechanisms. Okay, what the lion could do. So the lion could walk a few steps by itself it could uh, then, when it did walk a few steps, it would sit on its hind legs or on its butt, and it would expose a bouquet of flowers in its chest. And it could also move its head and its tail. So here is a little, I guess, a reconstruction of what they thought it could have looked like or what it could have done. Here are some detailed notes that you can see. These aren't of the line, but these are, you can see that his notes were really detailed and how advanced his notes were. Here's a little video. Hopefully there's nothing weird as a uh, ad. This entrepreneur brand logo was done by a top freelancer on Fiverr. It's simply, wow. Are those stylized brand guidelines that your designers. Just give me a second. Here we go. Enjoy.
So as you can see, it was a pretty uh, complex uh, line. Had many moving parts. Where was I? Okay, it's right here. Okay, so next slide. So where is line today? So like I said, his line was lost to time, but there is a reconstructed line, a recreation of his line in Paris at a museum. And it was put there in 2019 for his, since he passed 500 years ago as an anniversary sort of thing. So yeah, and uh, the dimensions of this line that was recreated is two meters high and three meters long. So to put that in perspective, that's about six feet and three uh, and uh, 12 feet long. So my bibliography, so these are all the sites that I use right here. Oh wait, I'll go back. Here's a site, I don't want to get right here. And here as you can see, goes on display in Paris right here. This was in October, I believe of 2019, it went on display for his anniversary of his death. So yeah, that's it. So these are all my sites. Uh, you guys can uh, search them up, I guess, copy them down, go look at them. If you guys have any questions or any comments, be sure to put them down below and I'll be, I'll try to answer them as well as I can. Thank you.